And they hit me on being home and I just jumped out of the pool with dirty glue about some. Pull out the fuck, pull me up. Long little in that bar. I got shot for all those in the ocean walking around like they hard. Alright, we got MBM big homie off sports with us today. Yeah, man. What's up? Man? How you feeling today, man? I'm alright. Yeah, appreciate you coming by today, man. Yeah, man. Thankfully, thankfully let me come on. Yeah, man. All right, so let's take it back, man. Um, Orville, Alabama. Yeah, man. Oh, man. <laughs> what? I looked this place up, man. 200 yeah. people. 200, man. 200? <laughs> At the most. <laughs> Ain't that many. Yeah, so what was it like growing up there? Man, tell you the truth, it went that hard, but it was hard because of the violence, you know what I mean? There was a lot of, a lot of drug dealing, hmm. a lot of killing going on, stuff like that. You know, private. That's all it is. Yeah. At what age did you uh, jump off the porch? A 10. I don't know how to put it 10. I've been doing this since. Hmm. <laughs> really, really a wound. <laughs> Jumped out the wound out the porch. <laughs> yeah. Did you have any family out there to kind of help you and guide you while you were in the streets? or? Hmm. Yeah, like, you know, you got a couple cousins you looked up to. Like Rico, my cousin, dead and gone, huh? Like OG to me. You know? Yeah. So what's there to do in Orville, man? Huh? What's there to do in Orville? <sighs> Let me see. see. Ain't nothing too much to do. See, ain't really no, ain't no mall in Orville. We got to go about five or ten minutes to go to the mall, won't it? Yeah. There ain't too much to do, though. But get in trouble. That's why I try to stay from down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I looked it up. I saw I had, like, a community center, and that was about it. <laughs> man, they ain't in the community, so I ain't end up for real. You feel me? Hmm. Just... Number field in a little building, and that's it. <laughs> that's <laughs> they it. go there, throw parties, that is shit. There ain't even no playground for the kid, though. Uh, no pool, no community pool, none of that. Sad, um, um, You guys are pretty close to Selma, right? Yeah, that was about five, Jimmy. Then we go shopping in the okay. mall. Yeah. Okay. Hey, on with the mall. Yeah. So, what was one of the biggest life lessons you learned while, you know, growing up there in Norville? Can't trust nobody. You can't. And you live out here in Atlanta now, right? Yeah, man. I'm ready to be back and forth, but I'm trying to move on out of it. So okay. I'm my kids right now. How long uh, have you been down here? here I now? am. I have been about good. It's not shot my other video. I said about good. A little month and a half, something like that, for real. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, I ain't been too much. So what do you think of uh, Atlanta compared to back at home? <laughs> Way different, bro. Coming from a little town to a big, whole <laughs> different, bro. I swear to God. Um, did you go to college? I started going, but I had to stop going. I had got a little job, whatever. I ain't work out either. <laughs> a little both of them. Where are you working at? Oh, wow. Where are you at? Yeah. Man, we're out of little college to work at a fish plant. Hmm. A fish plant and got, they brought in Union Town by a few men from Hawaii State. I ain't stayed on there about two or three days. I loved up. This thing so <laughs> bad, right? <laughs> you come home and smell like fish. I said, oh, no, it ain't for me. I can't work for nobody. No. Did you ever get a job after that, or that was it? Nah, I got a few more after that. It yeah. ain't for me for real. Music, that's the only thing I think about for real, music. Uh -huh. yeah. So how long have you been making music now? Ever since I was 10. Okay. 10 years old. Yeah. What had motivated you to start making music when you were 10? I'm my, I ain't going to be on my, my big cousin. Man. I seen them boy, they used to rap a lot. Hmm. They just motivated me to start. Yeah. Oh. Who was some other musical influence you had? Who were you listening to? Dope B and Biggie, uh, people like that. You feel me? Okay. So they took Dope B away from him. Yeah. He the one that was going to put us on for real, for real. What did put us on? Well, he was going to take us all the way down for real. Yeah. What did Dope B mean to Alabama? Though? Everything. <laughs> the boy like God to Alabama. <laughs> oh, God. They, they don't want to admit it, but they know it's true. Hmm. Living, living. I don't know. So when did you start to take your music serious and figure out you can make a career out of doing this? Uh, I took, I've been, my, the whole time I've been rapping, I've been taking it serious. So it's just like, it's my passion. That's what I'm known for. Everybody know me for rapping. So I just took it and ran with it. Yeah. You know? And you started, at, well, you record on your phone, right? I record on my, I used to record on my phone. Make okay. that right. My producer, when I got my big cousin, Shaq, he the one put me in the studio, started me to rap hmm. Somehow you smoking weed or whatever, lost his mind. I don't know what the weed or what. Oh, sure. Ever since then, bro, been going down here, but rapping off the phone. 
But shit, now I'm back up now in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be here for now. They know they ain't fucking with me on the phone, so now I'm in the studio. Gonna be here for. Were, were people able to notice that you're recording on your phone with the quality wise? Nobody. Or? Nobody. I, I tell them myself. I swear to God. Mm-hmm. And nobody know how I rapping on the phone. Everybody thought it was a studio. Oh, so I, see, I tell certain people, you know, I ain't want to tell anybody. You know how it is being down or whatever. Shit. It what it is. I just kept real with them. I'm rapping out with phone. Hmm. I'm telling you, drop about seven or eight meat takes off of it. Oh, and then everything go with K. Huh. Yeah. What program were you using to record? What I rapping out? Yeah. Take. It's a help called Take. I've been rapping out Take since elementary school, for real. Oh, shit. Yeah, that one took me up there, for real. So mm-hmm. what's your creative process like? Do you write or do you just freestyle? And oh, I freestyle. Everything out the door for real. Mm-hmm. Everything comes to me. Let's put it out there. I ain't never been a writer type because it takes too long for me, for real. Yeah. Make when my thought comes, I'll be ready to put it on that beat. And I roll up when I go to this. <laughs> Duh. Oh, yeah. So what does MBM stand for? Mother Brother Music. Okay. Like all me and my partner, but we're really brothers. So we changed Mother Brother Music. We came out the mud together. Yeah. We're gonna eat together because we started together. You feel me? Huh? And who you got on the porch with you today? Oh, then my, then my, my, my little CEO, Jump Man. <laughs> he ran thing for me in the A for real. Okay. That boy making major moves up here. Hmm. He the one got me here for real. Huh? So he does rap, he just handles the business side. Yeah, I'm the bed. I'm my manager. I'm trying to get him in that stage to be my manager. No running thing for him for real. Yeah. He do damn good for real. Yeah, how important is it to have someone, you know, on your team working yeah. for you like that? It's very important. Like, right now, he got me on show tonight, the same day. Uh, the interview, he got me on show. I got to be there at 9 o'clock. That's it. He grinding for me. Was, I got to keep him with me. I'm my blood kids. I'm my partner. We got him. My brother. Yeah, if he's booking shows for you during a pandemic. And you feel me? During a pandemic, you know it is. <laughs> he bringing the load in. Oh, God. So, uh... I see on Audio Mac, you should been going up, man. The numbers. They love me on Audio Mac, man. That's the only thing I put my music on for real. Yeah. I don't mess with the numbers. I'm trying to get on out there to the Apple Music. I just started uh, getting on Apple Music this year. Okay. And I had no rights out rapping out YouTube, beat stuff like that. Hmm. But after a while, I'm trying to go on the build that biggest, you know, move on, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, so have you been surprised at all coming from such a small town that thousands, tens of well, thousands of people? Hey, look what you say, number 200 does. Don't get a thousand views. They tell you something. <laughs> something going on. Either them 200 playing the back to back or somebody else know about me. For real. Yeah. I mean, all the average up to 700 and some K. Hmm. And all that, for real, majority of that music, they get all them views come out my phone. All of that. All that music. You know? Getting all them views racking up on. That's crazy. Right? Uh-huh. Um, but you know, you put a lot of pain into your music, man. That 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 why it come that where I come from. Pain, pain what made me for real. The street made me, but the pain in the street what made me. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Out there, a gets it for you uh, to record and kind of well, get those emotions out. You ain't got nobody to talk to. When you talking to that mic and just spinning out that pain. Feels so good after you hit it, bro. I'm telling you, it way it, it, it better than therapy to me. Hmm. The way I get it out. So, what's the music scene like back in Oroville? Is there other rappers or oh, producers? It plenty of rappers, couple produce, but man, it's a we we can't get out how we want to. But it's real. We gotta leave the city. That's the only way we gonna get out. Yeah. So we can't push it in one city. Yeah. But it, it plenty of good talent down there. A lot of good artists down there that can rap. People that don't even know me, I ain't gonna shoot cold. Yeah, they hard. Feel me? Just they ain't got the out. You know what I mean? To get them out there. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say most of the artists out there are supportive of each other, or is it more of a competition? They try. Yeah, they supportive of me. Cause they know <laughs> I'm the big dog. I'm the best. I don't even real. But yeah, you know, they support me. Yeah, yeah, they support everybody else. You know, some people or everybody don't like some people. You know how they? Are. they yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Are there any studios out there? Or is it kind of just home studios? Yeah, it is. It really is like I said, it's a couple studios in Selma. Yeah. But all oh, I really got my partner, my main studio, I go to them five point nine. But other than that, ain't that for real. Yeah. 
How do you like the studios out here in Atlanta? Oh, I love it, boy. <laughs> Big one with the lights in it like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make you feel like you already made it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, kind of give you some different vibes. Oh, that, bro. I need it. Coming from a phone, rapping, on the phone, rapping in the car on the phone at 5 o'clock in the morning, watching my mama go to work while I'm sitting in the car rapping. <laughs> And to be up in a big studio like this, that's a big chain. Well, I love that car. I can sleep in that one. <laughs> Go back to work. <laughs> Dude. Was it an easy transition going from rapping on your phone to the big studios? Oh, uh, yeah. I, see, I ain't going to tell no story. Like, I ain't, I ain't rocked in the studio in a minute from back in the day. Like, I've been on that phone so long. Trying to hard, kind of hard to transition. You know what I'm talking about? But I'm getting up. I'm getting, yeah. I'm getting better and better. But once I get that point showing up in that studio while I'm getting on that phone, I am ready to fuck with it. <laughs> I'll tell you, I know it. All right, talk to us about your new album, My Life Oh, yeah, My Life Move. Man, I just dropped that out there um, right after I got out of jail. And it really about pain for real, what I was going through at the time. I just went on and dropped it. And I saw you just dropped the music video for the title track, too. Yeah, yeah. I had to. That would bring the light. Was that the first video you shot? That was the only first one. First video I ever shot. Okay. First one, yeah. And it was up here. Yeah. yeah. So uh, how was it? Were you natural yeah, in front of quiet. the camera? Did you get <laughs> My cameraman said I did a damn good job for the first time. But shit, it felt like a natural to me, but you know how it is. Yeah. So what type of songs, what type of vibes you got on this album? On it, oh, it really did. Real pain song for real. Like what I was going through at the time. My mind state where my mind was at all that, you feel me? I was feeling, you feel me? People who changed on who thought I was gonna ride for me, all that. I put it all in them. Yeah. So my life is a movie. What type of movie would it be? Would it be a drama? Right. Would it be an action? What action, drama, pain. <laughs> you might cry when you get through us. <laughs> for real. You know, you know, kind of yeah. Uh, the, uh, have any features on there? No, I ain't got no features on. There. I went in by myself. Okay. But I went around nobody that time. I got out of jail. I had realized they left from dying. I just went on, came up here, and when I started working on it, I told them like, I got so and so time to finish this. I want to drop it. I want to get it out. I want to shoot videos. I want to let them know how I feel. You feel? Yeah. That's what I did. I got out, went to work, went to grind. Yeah. You know? What about producer wise? Who did you work with? Producers. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't really been find no favor for real, for real. I'm real still looking for real. That people I met with, like they send me something. Okay. Like check this out, see you do something with this, see, see if you fuck my music, whatever, yeah, shit like that. Did you have a personal favorite song on the project? The one I shot the video to my life okay. move. Yeah. Which one have you been getting the best feedback on from the fans? Which one been getting the best? That one? Yeah. It's been Ryan, for real. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I know we can't get into the um, the details of why you were arrested, but, yes, you know, I'll just say it's a pretty serious charge you face. And how does that affect you uh, mentally? And how does that affect your inspiration? To well, it, it really made me go harder. But the time I think about it, like, I really I ain't facing them for real because I went in the wrong in the situation I was in, you understand? But shit, it really just made me go harder. Like, shit, I got to go in. I can't can't stop now. I can't let this little shit stop what I got going on. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Ain't, ain't no fear in my heart. I ain't running from nobody. I'm just got down. I'm staying out of the way. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But I, hey, yeah. <laughs> they kind of just use it as motivation. Yeah, right? motivation for real. Motivation. I the whole shit have on how they you know how they change on you feel. Mm -hmm. They talk on stuff, don't even know what's going on, all that. They really motivation, you feel me? Give me pain cause it hurt me like they know I ain't Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff to that. Yeah. Oh, sure. And earlier this year you and your brother, MBM Doug, dropped the collab project. Yeah, so my brother, brother. That boy up, man. That the key though. <laughs> <laughs> For real, that boy up. All right. So, oh, yeah. What was it like working with your brother on the full project? Man, I had to get back with bro. I ain't we when I sent the song, we ain't come in contact. I was out of time when I sent. 
You feel me? Shit, he already know we get together. We making a heat every time. He ain't never changed. Yeah. He probably been here right now, but she can't get up here. We might be back. <laughs> is he back in Alabama? No, well, he back in Alabama. Okay. Huh? How long has he been rapping now? Oh, he, I say about when he got out of high school, like for real. I say about 12th and 11th grade, that when he started rapping. Okay. I gave bro, like, bro, we, you need to try that, bro. Oh, hard. You need to go get all this and try it. <laughs> like, I was a recruit type, like, man. I tell anybody, man, he rapping ain't nothing, man. You just got to try it. Uh, Did it come natural to him? The first song, bro, man, was a hit. Yeah. What I do, I said, bro, we locked in for life. That's why we all the fuck here. We locked in for life. He ain't never changed. You know, KJ, all them boys. We locked in. It forever. I'm gonna get up out of it. And also, this year, earlier this year, you dropped uh, Motivated by Pain. You know? Yeah, Motivated by Pain. Yeah, she, I was going through something then. Well, you always going through something. Huh? I was telling you. <laughs> that's what I told my mama the other day. I called her, man. I don't know. It like, it followed me, man. Trouble always followed me, but hmm. I did. Where well, do you think you would be mentally without music, man? Well, I, oh. <laughs> Probably the net out somewhere. <laughs> Dude, that shit help you, bro. That shit like therapy to me. But that me, you don't know where I'd be right now. I'd probably be in the can or anything. For real. Yeah. Uh-huh. You working on a new project right now? Well, not really. I'm really trying to focus on all my other music right now, trying to get it on out there for real. And the project I got, because my really my first album, my truck. Okay. You know? Plans to shoot some more videos off that project? Yes, yeah, sir. I got to. I got one on the way. I ain't, I ain't got, I ain't put it out yet, but it coming. What song is it for? Uh, oh, it ain't on the tape, it ain't on the tape. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, talk to us about the grind that comes with being an independent artist. Man, you got the grind. Like, ain't nobody, like, you got to put yourself out there. Ain't nobody going to put you out there when you're independent. You got to do all the work yourself. You got to book your own show, pay for your own video. You got to do all that yourself. It's a grind for real. It take time. And dedication. You feel me? You gotta be dedicated to that shit if you want it for real. Would you so be, I ain't never getting up. Yeah. Would you be interested in signing with another label? I was thinking about it, but then again, depending on what they what they trying to sign me with. You feel me? <laughs> they come with the bag, and, hey, I'm on the head. <laughs> they get it. Real sick. Yeah. Is there any artists out there that you would love to work with one day? Or I've been I've been feeling lately. I want I want to lock in and run away for real. Okay. Yeah, somebody like that. You feel me? Going through that pain. You feel me? Slat Zay, nigga like that. Yeah. yeah. What about producers wise? Who would you like? Producer wise. Ah, uh, nah, you know I got some other moves. I lock in with Zay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> now, Zay, when I get back out that pain, Zay gonna be the one I follow until I get back in my <laughs> other mode. You feel me? That trust That was that was Zay coming. <laughs> Sure. All right. What else you working on right now? I got the videos coming out. What else you got? Uh, right now, I ain't got nothing coming out right now. I'm really just, well, yeah, I ain't really got nothing coming out right now. I'm really just chilling for real. Just working on all this other stuff for real. Just trying to bag all that up. Trying to make sure that shit go right. All right. Any shout outs before we wrap this up? Uh, number my campaign, hit me on 4 Cause I don't want, I want to set up. <laughs> Poor out the fuck, pull me up. Long little that nigga bark. I got shot for all them fuck niggas walking around like they hard. Bitch, I come from Jack City, bitch, we know from.